Hello everyone, welcome to the security channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a really challenging problem. Here, we have a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals to 20. On the other hand, we know that a cube plus b cube plus c cube equals to 44. We know that a, b, and c are complex numbers, and we already know that a plus b times b plus c times c plus a equals to 156. Now what we need to find is a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 plus c to the power of 6. Let's see how we are going to tackle this problem. Make sure that you take a moment to see if you can find the answer. To simplify explaining how I'm going to deal with this problem, I decided to first introduce the equations that I'm going to use. These are the identities that I'm going to benefit from. Let's focus on those for now. The first equation or identity that I'm going to use is power of 3 of a plus b plus c. There are many different ways that you can find or expand this power of 3 of a plus b plus c, but the one that I'm going to use here is a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus 3 times a plus b times b plus c times c plus a. Obviously, we have some parts of these and I'm going to use those to find other parts. The second identity that I'm going to use is power of 2 of a plus b plus c. Similarly, you can have different ways to expand this, but now I'm going to use a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2 times ab plus ac plus bc. I think you already remember that we have this a squared plus b squared plus c squared and I'm going to use those to find other parts. The last identity that I'm going to use is the identity for a cube plus b cube plus c cube. This is based on a plus b plus c, a squared plus b squared plus c squared, ab plus bc plus ac and abc. If you are not sure about these identities, make sure that you focus on them, prove them, and maybe try to memorize them for some competitions that you are going to have in near future. However, let me rationalize why I'm doing this. Remember, I have a cube plus b cube plus c cube. I have a squared plus b squared plus c squared, and I have a plus b b plus c and c plus a, the multiplication of them. So it's trivial to find other things based on what I have here. From the first equation, I can find a plus b plus c. Then when I have a plus b plus c, I can use it in the second equation to find a b plus a c plus b c. And then when I have that, I can use it in the third equation to find a b c and I'm going to take it from there. Let's see how I'm going to do that now. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I have this a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 plus c to the power of 6. And I already showed that based on the equation 3, I can write this as sum of a squared, b squared, c squared times a few other terms. In the other terms that I have, I have this power of 4 of a, b, and c. I have a, b squared, b, c squared, c, a squared, and I have this a, b, c squared. The one that I have in green, we already know the answer. Based on the problem, we have 20 for that. The other parts that I have in orange, red and blue are the ones that I'm going to find, which are not difficult to do that based on what I told you in the previous part. Based on equation one, I already know that I can expand a plus b plus c to the power of three based on power of three of a, b, and c and some other terms. I'm going to replace what I have now. I'm going to replace 20 for a to the power of three plus b to the power of 3 plus c to the power of 3 and I'm going to use 156 
for the term that you see here for a plus b times b plus c times c plus a. These are given in the original problem. If you do everything, you can see that power of 3 of a plus b plus c is 512. So a plus b plus c is going to be 8. That's perfect. I'm going to use it to find other things now. Now based on equation 2, I can expand power of 2 of a plus b plus c. First of all, I already know that a plus b plus c is 8. I already know that sum of a squared, b squared, and c squared is 20. And then I will find ab plus ac plus bc. Based on some simple algebraic simplification, I will have 22 for that. Now, based on equation 3, I can expand a cube plus b cube plus c cube. We already know that a cube plus b cube plus c cube is 44. a b plus b plus c is 8. a squared plus b squared plus c squared is 20. And a b plus b c plus a c is 22. And we can find a b c here. a b c is going to be 20. Now back to what we wanted to find. In the original case, when I showed you a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 plus c to the power of 6, I needed this a squared b squared plus a squared c squared plus b squared c squared. To do this, I'm going to use equation 2. And then you can see that I almost have everything except for the one that I'm looking for. And after doing some simple algebraic equations, you are going to end up with 164 for that. Finally, I have this a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 plus c to the power of 4 that I need to find. And using what I already found, you can see that we will end up with 72 for this term that I'm looking for. Finally, I'm going to put everything together based on equation 3. And if you simplify everything, you're going to find negative 640 for the final answer. Note that a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 plus c to the power of 6. If we had a, b, c belongs to real numbers, the answer should be positive. But here, a, b, and c are complex numbers. So the value that we found is acceptable. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content that we have in this video. If you'd like to see more puzzles, math involved activities and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. I hope